Here is a quick update on a project that I posted on YouTube a few months ago. This is a real-time microphone monitor program using Visual Studio written in C-sharp, and it's totally open source. These graphs, uh, the raw PCM value, so the raw values coming in the microphone are on top. We can pan with a left click and drag and zoom with the right click and drag. And on the bottom, we have the same audio being represented in the frequency domain, where the horizontal units are in kilohertz. So if I were to whistle, you can kind of see where the, uh, where the frequency of that sound lies. And I would, oh, the reason I wanted to post an updated video is to show you this really high frame rate. The video that I showed last time was a relatively slow frame rate, about 10 frames a second. And there's a reason for that. If we look at the source code, I have since added this line here. And again, this is all open source. The links are in the description of this video. But here I set the size of the buffer, and I make it a relatively small buffer. The reason this is important is because every time the buffer fills up, it updates the graph. And by making a small bu buffer, that just makes faster graph updates. So I'll show you an example of how this works when I play some audio. So I'm going to hit play and let you watch how it looks. Okay, that's a pretty good description. Um, I hope that you benefit from taking a look at this software. Keep in mind that since the last video, I have put all of this on GitHub. It's easier to download than it was before. And also the graphing library I called Scottplot is now open sourced and it has its own GitHub project. So enjoy. Oh yeah, man, okay, one more thing. I have two running at the same time and they're attached to different uh, sound cards right now. And that's totally fine to do. In fact, I'll bet I can open a third one. Let's see. Scott, nope. Examples, where am I? I can open a third one just to show I can attach to the same sound device multiple times. So this top left is my microphone and both of these are looking at the sound card output from the music. So if I wanted to, I can kind of zoom in on one frequency range on the on left one and have a different range being shown on the right one. And all of this together is not too bad. Let's see how well this is taken. It's about 90 megabytes of memory and it's about 10% of my CPU each.